Oh, hey there, I didn't see you. I'm looking for some information on personal finance. I seem to find some here. There's some here as well. Hey, there's more! There seems to be a lot of information about personal finance. It's as if people are really interested in it. Putting it all together will take a lot of time. It just seems as there should be... A centralized place in society where they would teach this kind of stuff, but which one? Isn't it strange that there is no one single place where they teach us something that we work for more than half of our life it's as if they don't want us to learn or know about it i guess that if i want to learn about personal finance i will have to learn by myself so i proceeded to learn lock myself in a closet that made harry potter look like the buckham palace i then studied educated myself got a master's degree, which I will not proudly exhibit in a shelf in my room, in order to understand money, its power, and how it affects our day-to-day -day decisions. But as I proceeded to educate myself on learning and sharing other videos with the world, I was questioning myself, who am I? What do I have to say? Who will care? Who believes me? Why would I do it? Until a friend came by the window with a message. DO IT! JUST DO IT! I know, it's my dream, but... Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Okay, but first, coffee. Coffee. 56% of Americans can cover a hundred dollar emergency expense with savings. That means that at least 50% of Americans have less than $1,000 in savings. But how did we get to this point? It's as if someone would have to provide them with free information that could just learn about money. But where? Being financial literate doesn't come from expensive studies or expensive titles or having a lot of money. It just comes from willingness to learn. There's a lot of financial literate people that have zero to no money, such as Ronald Red, for example. Well, he has a lot of money. He had a lot of money. Being financial literal also means comprehending and understanding certain formulas and concepts like compound interest, value of money, managing debt, investing, you name it. For example, why is it so important to have a bank account? Well, let's start with it's safe and safer than holding cash in your house, right? I mean, someone could just break in and steal. Well, if you had it in the bank, the bank would protect you and you will be having the money protected. They will have to ensure that money in case it got stolen, let's say. And even though your mattress is fast and easy to access, it's not the best. It's just, no, it's not the best. But now the question is, what type of account should you have? Should you have a credit account, a debit account? What, what's an interest rate? What type of interest rates do I get on different accounts? Well. We'll be later on covering some of that. And while talking about money may be difficult, we'll be doing so here in this channel. But the main question is, why is personal finance important? Well, it will allow you to excel in your life and hopefully retire with savings in your account, not having to stress about money, being able to enjoy, travel, 
take care of emergencies, have fun, and most important, you'll be able to save for retirement and eventually, maybe, hopefully, retire earlier if you plan and follow some certain type of principles, let's call them, that personal finance follows, which are 12. But let's leave that for another video. Let's see you in the next one.